1000 shillings is it a bargain comment down below mom how do you know that a fish is fresh right from the lake ah okay so you think uh, we've bought fresh fish is this fresh fish from the lake ah ah okay uh, so I'm talking kuja bondo ni mwambie akuja atafute nani Kevin Jalego awauzie fresh fish from the lake <laughs> yeah okay guys welcome back to my youtube channel today it's going to be a nice video do you know what this is do you really know what this is first of all have you subscribed to my youtube channel have you liked my YouTube? My name is Rispa. You can call me a young girl, just a young girl. So today I'm going to teach you how to prepare fish fresh from the lake. If you want to know this fish is fresh, you just check the gills. Yeah, really fresh. So we are going to, to remove the scales and remove the 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 things from the stomach yeah they are nasty but it's food so today i'm just going to teach you how to make fish but to do it you see i just do this and the scale is out i have to do it outside because you know if it messes up remember we are in the village so that's why even outside is just okay so it's quite easy it's quite easy some people will be like ah no i can't do it yeah um i'm both of a village girl and a city girl <laughs> so let's go but you have to be keen while removing the skills these these things that's very sharp. Can you see it? That's really sharp. You have to be very careful when you're doing this. Yeah. Really, life is sweet. In my art life, like in my retirement life, I have to live in the village. It's so easy. You see, I've done like half of it. Very easy. I've removed the scales for all the five of the fish. Yeah. Five fish to lose. <laughs> yeah, we are going to serve the whole village with this. Uh, yeah. So now I want to teach you how to remove the stomach things like the intestines. This place you have to be careful. I have a very sharp knife. Very sharp knife. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I dissect a small portion. Yeah. And then, you see all that. They are not supposed to be eaten. Maybe I did a small bottle. Yeah, some of it. My mom is telling me that some of it is eggs. Yeah, fish have eggs, if you don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I have to be careful. If there are eggs, I have to retain them and return them. But so far, I haven't found any eggs. As easy as ABC, you see. Now, if I remove my, my hands, there's nothing. So, but you have to be careful because you can meet the bones, like the fish bones. And they can prick you, so you do it in a way that it doesn't prick you. Yeah. So, that's how you make fresh fish. 
straight from the lake lake victoria yeah it's as easy as abc mm -hmm. now this is another thing you have to like i don't know how to call that <laughs> but you yes yeah i know it's called gills but i'm saying the, this act of kupanua <laughs> ivi yeah so they, they always have sand so you have to clean it clean it this is not our final water hey, and guys remember it's getting dark and we need to do it really fast because we need the fish to drain some the water before we dip it into oil. You see, my gills are really fresh and clean. So, the next thing is to like cut it so that we salt it. You cut it into, you dissect like a little bit, then you pour salt. Yeah, but these are, I'll put it in pieces. Eh, this economy with oil we have to know how to deal with the oil situation currently so this is our fresh clean fish almost ready to be to be cooked but so far so good you see nyaluo yeah fresh from <laughs> lake victoria Finished cutting everything. I have finished cutting everything. Yeah, you can spot some eggs. Yeah, those are fish eggs. I'm so excited. I found like three of them with fish eggs. So I had to do all the process really, really fast because it's gonna rain. Like it's gonna pour in the next minute. So that's all I did. I cut it into pieces then I then I put salt to ensure our fish is gonna eh, but man the the weather the weather so our fire is ready even that's our fire and our pan you see the yeah village life that's our fire and our pan and she's putting oil 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 the gold of the world right now so that's what we're going to do meanwhile in the kitchen my mom is making some ugali for dinner ah. yeah at this point i had to move the fish from the outside kitchen because no lighting no proper lighting and i have to teach you how to put it yeah i put oil in a pan in this pan then uh, i left the oil to heat up heat up like i really used hot oil I put the fish, the four of them. This is the first batch. Yeah, so we are still moving, moving, moving. We are going to do it until I complete it. Because you have to let the, the water, the oil to be really hot to make sure. Because the fish is a bit. Mm, um, wet it didn't dry because of the weather and we, we started really late but i'm hopeful i know all will be well peace out the secret to crispy fish oh, can you see how golden brown before even you look at it well hi right, guys can you subscribe to my youtube channel Please click that notification bell so that uh, you get notified every time I upload a video. And then subscribe. Please subscribe.
to my youtube channel so today i'm cooking just down the floor is really clean sparkly clean so this is my raw fish this is where i'm gonna put my fresh fried fish and yes you see the color so i just wanted to let you know that if you want to make crispy fish first make sure the oil is really hot two put the fish don't uh, put them one by one and be careful because man you can lose your your uh, fingers or whatever part of your body so you put it you dip it in the oil when it's really hot after dipping it in the oil oil i did i just say oil yeah you got me so the other thing that you really have to make sure is when putting them make sure they don't touch each other like you put them individually they came in this app alone so they had to go in that oil hot oil alone three don't touch it don't just leave the side that is on the touching the pan to cook cook don't interfere make sure just make sure your your fire is well lit then don't touch it it will cook really crispy and brown just uh, as i did so this is my first batch I think I need to remove it and then I need to add a little bit of char. Can you hear how crispy it is? Yeah, that is well fried fish. So, since this oil is still enough, I don't have to add more oil. The only thing that I have to do is to add charcoal on my fire to make it but ah this is nice fish these these is nice fish you hear you hear that thing <laughs> ah that cock you had to wait for me to start speaking so meanwhile this is the fish from yesterday ah, I finished so late i was so tired i even transferred the thing from the jiko to the, the cooker because the fire wasn't really enough so this was the product i know i messed up a little bit like here but i'm proud of myself so that's how you make fish how you fry fish fresh from the lake nice yeah i can't wait to carry a few pieces <laughs> to the city <laughs> yep i'm actually showing you this like the next day on a, on a sunday in the afternoon because we woke up early to go to the church okay Turus, Karibu, which one do you want? This head here or this tail here. Ish. You see how crunchy it looks? Yeah, I forgot to say that some I added like uh, corn flour, like this one you can see. And uh, this one I didn't put corn flour. This one had corn flour. This one I didn't put. This one I didn't put. So the ones with the corn flour, I liked the results. Yep, yep. Kariboni. Welcome. Come, let's eat. 